hello again and welcome back. I'm John and this is guitar lesson number five. Um, this week um, I'm trying a new microphone setup and I think that will improve the sound quality of the guitar and the voice make things a little bit easier to understand. Uh, also want to remind you that the music for these free guitar lessons, this is number five, um, is available on my website John Beeman, B-E-E-M-A-N, Composer. Uh, dot com. Just go to the uh, guitar lessons, pull down menu, and you will find PDFs with the music for the lessons. Also, if you have any um, comments or questions for me, there's an email link on my website, and I'd be happy to answer those for you. So last time, um, we learned the notes on the G string, and there were just two of them, G and A, two fingers. And um, we also learned about eighth notes that get um, one half a beat each. Uh, there were quite a few songs on, um, on that page for lesson number four. So let's try one of those songs right now. Um, and that's the, the very famous song, the very famous round, called uh, Brother John. And I'm going to play it first, and it starts on the G string. And it goes to A, so let me play it for you. Ready? Here I go. very very famous song. Um, the nice thing about this song is that we can do it as a round. That means one person starts and then in this case after two measures or eight notes then the second part comes in. It's kind of like a dog chasing its own tail. So I'm gonna start and then after I play my first eighth notes then you will start from the beginning of the song. So I'll go first. One, two, three, here I play. You start from the beginning. pretty cool with a round. You could actually do that as a four-part round um, if you had three other friends. Um, okay, uh, this week um, we're going to go to the fourth string up, which is also known as the D string, and we already know open D, and we're going to learn two more notes. When I put two fingers down, that is the note E, and then three fingers down is the note F. D, E, and F for the notes on the D string. Um, let's try um, one of the uh, songs on, um, on this lesson, which is Delightful. And um, I will play it for you first. So it starts on open D, two, ready, here I go. Then the second line. One, two, three, four. Okay, I wrote that myself. Um, shall we try it together on the count of four? Okay, so you're ready. Get your second finger ready to put down. One, two, starts on open D. G, E, F, E, D, E, F, E, D, F, E. Rest, then the 
the second line, F, E, D. F, F, E, E, D. Okay, easy enough. Um, there are some other songs that I think uh, you'll enjoy. Uh, we have Old MacDonald and The Mountain Tune, another song that I wrote. We'll be using our D string. Um, there's some new things on this page. We have some new um, time signatures. We already learned 4-4 four, four time, 4 beats in each measure. So on this page you'll have a song in 2-4 time, which is 2 counts in each measure, and in 3-4 time, kind of like a waltz, 3 beats in each measure. Um, we have some new rhythms. We have a dotted half note, so that's a half note with a little dot after it, and that gets 3 beats and a dotted quarter note, um, which gets one and a half beats. Um, and um, some fast notes called sixteenth notes. And those get a quarter beat each. That's what sixteenth notes sound like. Um, we have a new um, tempo marking, um, allegro, and that just means you simply play it fast and lively. Um, okay, um, we also uh, learn a new scale on this bass, a very old scale, it's actually what we call a mode, and it's um, the Dorian mode, and let me play that for you. It starts on the D string, and we're going to use D, E, F, the three notes that we learned this week, and then we're going to go up to the G string and to the B string, so it sounds like this. Ready? Here I go. D, E, F, G. C, D, and then come back down. That's the Dorian mode, or Dorian scale. Um, and we'll be using that in um, the song that we have coming up called Scarborough Fair. Um, let's try it together. So it starts on open D. One, two, ready, play. D. I'll go to the G string, two fingers, B string, one finger, and three fingers. Then we're going to repeat the high note and come back down. And that's the Dorian mode. Kind of a kind of a nice sound. Um, then we go on to the song called Scarborough Fair. Um, it's got a nice melody. Uh, this is a very old, I believe, English song, probably 400 years old. Um, and besides the other new things, you're also going to have one new note on this song, which is third finger on the A string, which is actually the note C. And we'll learn that more in the next lesson. Um, let me play it for you. So remember, this is in 3-4 time, so you have to count uh, to three for this one. So it's going to go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here's a dotted half note. One, two, three. Fair. So once you learn the melody, um, you can also learn the chords to this song. And this week we're going to be using actually four string chords. So far we've just been using the three uh, bottom strings, so we're going to add an extra string. So let me come on up a little bit closer so you can see my fingers. And we'll start with a D minor chord. So we simply add just the open D string. <laughs> Okay, and now the C chord, um, we're going to add another note as well. We're going to add our second finger on the D string. You know that's E. Go back up. 
back to the D minor chord. The G chord is pretty easy. You just add the open D. To the... Okay, and then we have the F chord. Now the F chord we learned like this so far with a bar across the uh, first two strings, second finger here. Now we're going to add our third finger on the D string. So it makes it a little fuller as a four string chord. And then we can go back to our D minor. Okay, I'm going to move back here to my chair. And um, there's also a new strum um, that you can use in 3-4 time works really well. And it's just you pick the bass note and then strum. Kind of nice. And then I'm going to go to the C chord and do the same thing. Works nicely in, in three-quarter time. Uh, let me play the chords to the uh, whole song for you. If you want, you can play the melody while I play the chords. Okay, so on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And I go to the C chord. Back to the D minor chord. nice one. A few more finger changes on that. You just have to practice those really slowly going back and forth. Uh, let's try it together now. This time, see if you can try the chords. Remember, we're going to start with our D minor chord with this bass, strum, strum. Okay, on the count of three, two measures of that. One, two, D minor. And to the C chord for one measure to the D minor. G for one measure. D minor. And to the F chord. To C. And D minor. To C. It's really, really a beautiful, haunting song. So that concludes our lesson number five, and I hope to have a new one ready in a couple of weeks, so be uh, looking out for that, and um, happy practicing, and see you next time.